What's up? Welcome back to Unguided. Uh, we've made it back out to the west. Met up with my boy Slayton again from last year's mule deer hunt video. Trying out elk this year and we just get, sort of got in the area that we're going to be hunting and we've already ran into a herd on private. There's one giant bull with them and uh, a couple satellites, pretty healthy herd of cows. So uh, we haven't even set camp yet and things are looking really good. That is a 300 plus inch bull right there. Respectable, for sure. Very, very much respectable. They're rutting, dude. Oh yeah, he's pushing. I mean, he's got these other side like him, bulls scared back here. Hey, look at him running them around. Oh yeah, he ain't eating nothing, he's just running. Nah. It's uh, September the 16th today. We were worried it'd be a little early, but uh, first herd we're seeing and they're showing very, very much ruddish behavior. He's got him a big herd of cows. And he's running off trying to run the satellites off. Damn, look at that. How does that make you feel? Whew. Stressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, we're gonna go set camp. Status <clears throat> update, we're on the way to camp. Uh, we keep running into herds. Already spotted a second herd. Spike, spike. Oh yeah, there's a big bull. Damn, that's you like- You can just see his antlers sticking out of the mud. Like, he must be laying in a hole. And there's a, a whole group of cows bedded down in the alfalfa straight through there. You see their heads? Yep. Oh, yeah. There's cows right there. And then right to like the bottom right of those cows, you can just see antlers sticking out of the mud hole. They're walling. So this is all private land right here. There's public just on the other side of the ridge from it. Um, there's a lot more public down where we're going, but really, really good signs. How many... How many shooter bulls is that now in the last it's 10 minutes? Freaking three miles and there's 10 of them. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> Look, you can't touch them. You can't, you can't get them over there. We keep trying to make it farther and farther, but I mean, we, this is the mother load right here. I had to stop and get a shot. We got hundreds of elk, 30, 40 bulls. I'm guessing two or 300 at least. Yeah, they're funneling off this bench up here. They're all up there, pouring down into this field. I mean, it's just littering the countryside. My Lord. Look at that damn huge bull right there, walking them around. Wow. I mean, he is a tank, but there's just tanks everywhere out there. seen about 100 at this point i think we're at about seven eight hundred elk we've seen in this stretch and about 100 whitetail so yeah i think we came to the right place just got to catch them on the right piece of land Really, really close. 
dude, he's up there roaming around, dude. I don't know how he hadn't seen us. This is crazy. Oh my god. You hear that? He is literally right there. You gotta throw that on. Listen to that chuckle. I'm about to challenge the shit out of him. I don't know, it's getting, okay. it's, it's so dark. Yeah. He's gone, he got pushed. He crossed at like 60. Yeah, he did. He was right there, dude. I almost wanted night camp on that guy's camp right there. I don't want to push him out of here. some better light, like I'm comfortable at 60. Yeah. We just got here a little too late, but my goodness. He seemed like he hung up there for a minute, but he's probably. Yeah. I'm just of trying to imitate him. Last year's antelope. That is a bark right there. There's one barking right there. We got elk barking about 
sound pretty close. We've had three going off. So it's gotten dark now. We got uh, brats boiling and kettle house cold smoked beer. <sighs> nice end to the day. And evidently, we don't have to go far tomorrow. We'll see y'all then. It's morning one. We just hiked to the top of this ridge. We've got one ripping across this meadow right here. I'm trying to figure out we're gonna make a move on him. That's some white tails. That's some white tail deer. Hanging out. get close to him to her rifle. And she is, oh, it's a muley, uh, big ol' ears. She's doing her leg right there. It's crazy. The big ol' fat muley nanny right here. This close to us. Yeah, but we've got dinner. We got dinner. Good shot. <laughs> Judo tip. Yeah, sick dude. I've never killed one of these. Look at that tail. Like a turkey fan almost. He's meaty sucker too. Had some bugles this morning. It's getting towards the middle of the day now. We're gonna stay up here, but uh, it's always nice to pick up something good for dinner. What kind of grouse do you think that is? I think it's a blue grouse. A blue grouse? I think it's a blue grouse. But we're gonna have to revert to the Google machine for that. <laughs> Pretty solid morning so far. We're posted up on the edge of this meadow right here. A lot of the last night camp was down at the bottom of this ridge right here. Somehow bugle on a natural line. Uh, there was another guy on it over there, so we kind of moved it back the other way. It's uh, been a pretty solid morning. Uh, a little bit of activity has kind of died down now. Winds picked up a lot, as you can tell. Uh, but uh, they're on the same pattern as they were yesterday. They're going to be working up in here. Should be about midday, we hope.
the end of the day here. Uh, we're sitting on the last ridge where they were at last night, and uh, yeah, it's just radio silent, so we're hoping we'll hear some bugles tonight so we can uh, figure out what our play is tomorrow, but it's been pretty dead for the uh, latter part of the day and the evening. It's also come to my attention that I do not have a fork at camp, and we're having stroganoff with the grouse slate you shot tonight, so here's a uh, trick for you. I like to say I got my inspiration from KFC. This is a 100% handcrafted spork made from an oak branch. All <laughs> what? It's all organic. It's all natural, organic. All you hippies out there, you can't even do something like this. So there's a little tidbit for you. We'll see y'all in the morning. So we just spotted two bulls running across the road, across the road. We're trying to cut them off. They came from that peak right there. Ran across the road. We're trying to get out in front of them. So those bulls and those cows are running right through here. We turned, we were going down the road that way, turned around, came back. And we think they're down in this thicket right here. We didn't see them going up past. They could be up past us, but we just sprinted up the hill. And we're trying to see if we can get a cow call to get some kind of reaction from them. And figure out if they're in there or if they're further up. Still with some Montana things right now. Trying to figure out our afternoon plan. Just got caught with cow drive. <laughs> so we've been dealing with uh, little small areas of uh, public with a ton of people on it. This track we're going into now is about uh, 11,000 acres. So. The plan is we loaded everything up on our packs, got the tent, the sleeping bags, loaded down with water, got a couple pretty heavy packs, but we're going to hike in and uh, set camp and spend a couple days in there and see if we can get on something that way. So we will see what happens. This is going to be roughing it. Made it to site two. We uh, hiked in a few miles and we're at the top of a ridge and we've got a pretty good view right here. We got some ag down there in the bottom of this valley and timber leading all the way to it. There is some pockets of water down there. It's very elkish. Right here in the middle, on the other side, this leads to the, the creek down there. That was coyote. Thought, thought it was a bugle for a second. As you see, pretty minimalist camp. I uh, I prefer to have something over my over my head, but you know Slayton's more of a get closer to nature kind of guy, so he'll be on the ground right there in the bivy. Down the mice. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick little stroll up the hill and see if we can hear or see something on the other side. And make a plan for tomorrow.
pushed a little farther. Here's the difference. That's old. And that's newer. You can see how that's dry and shriveled. We've uh, we've been looking for about five or six hours now. I'm sitting where the blood trail goes cold. It never was a whole lot of blood, just a few drops. Um, we're on 11,000 acres. We went all the way down to the creek where it's wide open down there. Came back up this side, came back up that side. And uh, yeah, just uh, no trace of him at all so it's about the uh the lowest point you can be at while hunting so uh, hope the animal's all right hope he uh can survive the uh the shot we put on him um obviously not a uh, a mortal wound um just vanished without a trace and the blood's dried up and yeah so uh, just super super deflated right now but uh it's just kind of what happens when you do this kind of thing uh you don't want it to happen but uh it just really really sucks so uh, anyway uh, we won't be uh trying to use the we won't be trying to go after another after putting that shot on that one. That'll be uh, that'll be the end of it for uh, for elk this year for us. So, just really really sucks to end it like this. Uh, we're gonna spend the night out up on the ridge again tonight, and uh, look for him in the morning. Maybe he's up. Maybe he's moving around. Um, yeah, we're gonna look at it, look for him still until dark, and give another look tomorrow. But. Uh, if uh 
it will take nothing short of a miracle at this point to uh, locate him or if he's just hopping around just get another shot on him so we'll see what happens but uh yeah anyway hope y'all enjoyed the video uh hammer that like button and subscribe if this is the kind of stuff you're into even though <laughs> uh even when this kind of thing happens so anyway appreciate the support from everybody and uh we'll be back at it again uh this won't be the last go at elk for us uh by any stretch but uh, we will pack it up hike it out late tomorrow if uh nothing shakes out and Get on the river and uh, do some ri do some fishing, uh, and maybe be able to sneak up on a uh, river bottom whitetail. There is that possibility. So, done with elk for this trip, but we're not done in Montana. I've still got six days left of uh, solid hunting and fishing time. So, we'll see what other kind of content we can get coming out. And uh, yeah, like I said, like subscribe. It helps us out. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next time. There yeah, there's one. Oh, woo, baby. Keep it tight. Yeah, I got him. Oh, woo, -hoo. woo, -hoo, baby. <laughs> First northern pike, baby. There he goes. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice slap.